Alright guys, welcome back to another reaction video. My name is James. I'm Nobu. And today we are going to be watching The Man from U.N.C.L.E. So this is a Guy Ritchie movie um, starring Henry Cavill, who oh, is sick. one of the coolest actors of all time. Uh, so I'm really excited. We didn't kind of catch this on our Guy Ritchie run. We were trying to find Old Boy because we did RRR and I was like, oh, maybe we could do some foreign films. We could not find Old Boy anywhere. So if anybody has any tips as far as that goes for more foreign action films, definitely going to do that. But for now, we're going to be watching The Man from Uncle. I believe this is based off of an old TV show. Uh, kind of like okay. Mission Impossible. I Mission Impossible TV show was later than the show, I believe, um, but gotcha. in the same way. So I don't Very really know similar. anything about the show. I just know Army Hammer and uh, Henry Cavill are in this movie, and they're really great. So I'm excited. I've seen bits of this movie. I think I started watching this movie a long time ago when it came out. You've never seen this movie. Nope. Guy Ritchie kind of always kills it, I think, with his movies. So um, as always, Falling Thrash is going to be up on the Patreon. The next week's reaction to this movie here is going to be up for early access if you guys want to go ahead and check that out. And yeah, all that being said, thank you for being here. Thank you for joining us for watching. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome. And let's just get into The Man from Uncle. It feels very um, spy mm -hmm. something already. Mm -hmm. just the, I was going to say that and then I was like, oh, I won't say anything. But the, the credits give it away instantly. I just got that like Cold War like period. Kind of. Yeah, or at least it looks like, like it's going yeah. that way where you get all that kind of crazy espionage and like yeah 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 on a total side note he's working on another movie with uh henry cavill right now i think based on like the f kind of like the origins of espionage in the uk or something in world war ii oh uh, okay okay and i hate that human oh hugh grant's in it great i, I also like this opening credits it's cool My with the like red line all right he's got it Oh, is that him? I think so. Once again, I think he's playing an American. Oh, is he? Yeah. Wow, I totally would have thought that he was playing some sort of like some Brit. Yeah. <laughs> Why does he always play American? I don't. That's just how it goes, man. I really like this filmmaking style. Yeah. It feels like a documentary almost. I love period pieces, dude. Especially like in this time period, like just a little bit. Like just even seeing how they built up the city and stuff. Die beflügel dran. Du brauchst eine Startbahn. <laughs> you look important, or at least your suit does. He's important. <laughs> well, I can get you over the wall. Do you consider that important, Fräulein Schmidt? Statements like that can get you into a lot of trouble around here. <laughs> or they can get you out of it. Make yourself comfortable, why don't you? <laughs> Who are you and what do you want? I'm here to have a friendly chat about your father. I don't have a father. I don't mean your late foster father, the mechanic. I mean your real father, Dr. Udo Teller. Ooh, he had a Hitler's favorite rocket oh, scientist. Oh, gosh. That doesn't sound very friendly. You're wasting your time. I haven't seen him for 18 years. Well, after the war, he came to work for us. <laughs> He'd been enjoying the American dream. Of course he did. The work of the U.S. nuclear program, as a house in the suburbs. And then? Two years ago, he disappeared like steam from a tea kettle. What? Did he put a bug in there? I guess so. Oh. Until now. This well, you, yeah, you gotta keep well. going almost. Which one is supposed to be my father? But can you mix things up? Funny. I'm told that if your father's knowledge gets into the wrong hands, things could get a little messy. You know, end of the world. <laughs> end of the world. <laughs> you know. What makes you think I know where he is? I think you know someone who does. Your mother's brother, Uncle Rudy. I've also been told that your father was never actually a Nazi. <laughs> he was forced to work for them. I'm here to help him. Why don't you help me? If I had 15 minutes, we'd drink tea, eat biscuits. Unfortunately, I don't. <laughs> they here. My offer is, come with me now and be at a chic little hotel in West Berlin, or oh. stay here and spend the night with the Russians, hang from a pipe, having your toenails removed. Oh. Do you mind terribly if I borrow your car? <laughs> I just love the feel of it already. The vibes are amazing. Are they still follow us? Yes. That's impressive. <laughs> I like those little details, though. That didn't need to be put in there. Is there one of them? Hum, if there is. Mm -hmm. Is he looking at us? <laughs> yeah, yeah, very much. Mm -hmm. Oh, this is a sick shot. Does he have just one hand on the steering wheel? Uh-oh. Mm -hmm. When you hear something that sounds like a gunshot... <laughs> drive. Drive. <Yeah. laughs> Let's go. Ooh. Did we get him? That looked pretty clean. Did yeah. Let's just hope he doesn't drive as quickly as he moves. Oh, I'm right. Dang. I got news for you. He does. 
<laughs> oh, that was sick shot. Look at this shot. This is so cool. <laughs> I love this. Where did that other guy go? I don't know. I like how little his car is. Yeah. Oh. Dang. She whoa, can whoa, drive, whoa. man. Step on the press. Nice. He might catch up though. He was pretty fast. He, he was going so fast. I love that we're like drifting in these old cars. It's sick. Oh, clean. Is he calm? I don't think so. Reverse down the sidewalk and then drive around the block. Meet me back here. Come on. The plays. Oh, nice. Nice. Dang. <laughs> Look at that shot. That's such a beautiful shot. Did he get him? No, he didn't. American hits. Napoleon Sol. Napoleon Sol. What a great army. name. What a great character name. Он остался на территории оккупации. Это тогда он обнаружил, какие огромные, и начал воровать и продавать. Oh wow. Стал широко известен по всей Европе. And now he got rehired by the government. Специальную оперативную группу. Единственная цель, чтобы привлечь его к ответственности. I like how the transitions are like the same. Yeah, it's a very cool. It's really cool. Они признали, таланты этого человека. Сделка была заключена и продуктивным агентом. Убей, если необходимо, но он не должен. Помочь девчонке сбежать. Dang, Ooh. both of these guys are incredible shots. Yeah, and it's super smart. Like that that was big brain IQ to fake I like, like you got I hit. like seeing a movie though where they're both actually smart. Yeah. Like it's almost like two James Bonds or something. You know what I mean? Yeah, very tactical too. <laughs> Just shoot him, bro. He's trying to stop the car. <laughs> That Russian strength for you. We're struggling here. Why don't you take a shot at him? Somehow, it just doesn't seem like <laughs> the right thing to do. <laughs> Whoa. <laughs> My man chucks the trunk. Press left and immediate right. Oh. This road isn't going anywhere. Taking us exactly where he wants it's to go. Narrower. It's all part of the plan. Oh. Wait. Go ahead. Kick out the front. When she was that part of the plan? All we have to do is get over two 20 foot walls and a minefield. Now what? <laughs> Take another left through the window. After you. Okay. Whoa. Whoa. Is he actually KGB? Yeah, he might be, right? Oh, he's just gonna kill him? He might, you know. KGB. They do stuff like that all the time. <laughs> this guy's insane. Also, can we just talk about how uh, Napoleon's suit is just unfazed this entire fight? Oh yeah, no, 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 for sure. It's it's gonna be unfazed the entire movie. What are we doing here? We're looking for Agent Jones. Is that him? Yeah, in the truck. Yeah, it looks like it. Oh, what? Oh wow, we got a whole zip line going. We, hey, we got some of that cool spy tech. Whoa, what kind of bo oh. Hurry up, Agent Jones. Oh, no, 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 no. Hurry up, Agent Jones. Bro, you're gonna blow this mission if you don't hurry. Oh, he might. Can you cut the. Oh, he's gonna follow. Cut the line. That's smart of him to get her to hug him too so that they won't shoot him. Too low. Oh, nice. Now you're just stuck there. <laughs> Whoa, he's a little lucky. Yeah, if it was closer to the barbed wire, that would have been brutal. Also, didn't he just land in the minefield? Oh, that's true. This place isn't cheap. I love chic. the feel of this movie already. It isn't even yeah, it's, on the top. It's, it's interesting. No, but it's right. safer. Your food isn't bad. My man can cook? What's that? It smells like food. Oh, maybe not. <laughs> he's here. I trust that Miss Teller was helpful. You're right. The uncle. But off on Trulsh is the best shot. The uncle. 
What? Mm. That's it. That's all you got. Listen, Do you recognize that guy? Rome works for a shipping company called Mechiguera, and now you have Miss Teller. My work here is done. You already knew all that. Not sure. He's from Chernobyl. Oh, yeah, scientist. yeah, 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 yeah. He's a big British character actor. They were waiting for me. Don't flatter yourself. They follow everybody. What was waiting for me was barely human. Yeah, that wasn't just a everybody. We are not in the haberdashery business. It tore the back off my car. <laughs> Don't ever mistake my deliberate short-sightedness for blindness. <laughs> now you report for duty tomorrow morning, 9 a.m. sharp, and with a better attitude. <laughs> so he's just someone high up in the organization. I assume right? so, yeah. In the government. What I'm about to feed you, Solo, might taste a little bitter. Nevertheless, you're going to have to swallow it. Where are we going with this, sir? Wait, wait. Isn't that the guy? I guess so. Dang. Mm. <laughs> They're gonna take down all the stalls, bro. Dang. Hey, Jeff. They're working together? For what? Uh, something else. What does that mean? He said, don't kill your partner on your first day. What are we doing? We believe in Shigeru, where Miss Tedder's uncle, Rudy, is a senior executive, is the cover for an international criminal organization with ties to former Nazis. Which would bring together... <laughs> The Soviet Union and the U.S. <laughs> the founder, Sergio Vinciguerra, was a friend of Mussolini. It is now run by his son, Alexander, and his wife, Victoria. She's the real fanatic. <laughs> now that the old man is dead, she's running the show. Dang. We believe they are responsible for Dr. Teller's disappearance. Now, they're probably Which using they're working him. on a nuclear bomb. Imagine the consequences if he builds an atom bomb for them. We have no choice but to work together on this. <laughs> Your mission is to infiltrate and retrieve Dr. Taylor and his research in the computer disk. Whoever has that disk will simply be the most powerful nation in the world. <laughs> you, Solo, are to investigate Victoria and Alexander. Our Russian friend will focus on Miss Teller and her uncle Rudy. We'll leave you two to get acquainted. Oh, they've been acquainted. All right. <laughs> We got off on the wrong foot Obviously, a little. Obviously, I was briefed about you. Your corrupt and criminal background. Until you were caught and the CIA blackmailed you into working for them. Okay, bro, quit flexing. What would motivate you to become the CIA's most effective agent? Counteract the humiliation of knowing your balls are at the end of a very long leash held by a very short man. Oof. You understand humiliation better than most. Really? After your performance last night, I thought I should read up. <laughs> Your dad being a big pal of Stalin's right up until he was caught embezzling party funds. Oof. How old were you when he was sent to the gulag? Ten. Jeez. Was that when the psychotic episode started? <laughs> you did, however, rise above it. KGB, the youngest man to join. I do wonder if it was your father's shame that gave you such drive, though. <laughs> or was it your mother's reputation? <laughs> I understand that she was extremely popular amongst your father's friends after he was shipped off to Siberia. Yeah, that's a little too far, buddy. Uh-oh. Maybe. Yeah, he seems a little... And look, they're both good, but he definitely seems a little more rough and ready than Solo. America is teaming up with Russia. Is this a joke? It should tell you how important this mission is. I'm not going back behind that wall. You don't have to go anywhere that you don't want to go. You're the star of this show. My woman would never wear anything like that. What's he doing here? <laughs> Told you, we're teaming up with the Russians. Then why did he call me his woman? Are Probably you playing? That's, that's what oh, this is going to be. dude. <laughs> the way he rolled his eyes. No, 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 no. Yeah, I mean, that's understandable. It's your cover. He's an architect designing a new resort, managed to secure a visa for his fiance. You'd introduce him to your beloved Uncle Rudy. What's your cover? Jack Devon, antiquity student, specializing in Greek and Roman sculpture. The Vinciguerra family just happened to have one of the finest collections in the world. Okay. I mean, look, dude, it's a tight mission. They know what they're doing. You'll do fine. No. <laughs> Great, bro. We need two purses, please. And every day in clutch and grab the belt. I feel like this guy's got... No, not the yours. The Ravine. <laughs> She's not going to wear a patoo. What's wrong with a patoo? Nothing. If you're fat. <laughs> Whoa. Have you seen the price of this handbag? It costs more than my car. You can get back on your horse now, cowboy. I'll see you in Rome. Okay. I feel like she figured out her outfits herself. Yeah. It's missing a little something. Now we are engaged. <laughs> Congratulations. Enjoy your stay, Mr. Waverly. I hope so.
Ooh. Well, they're already looking okay. around. Watch out. Yeah, be Check careful. It. Check in. I have a quick errand to run. Could you have my bag taken by room, please? Of course. Thank you. <laughs> so smooth, bro. D don't tell me he couldn't play Bond. Come on. Get out of here, people. So, Mr. Architect, so you've done your homework. Why don't you tell me a bit about the steps? Good question. <laughs> and these steps were constructed in 1723, credited to two Italian architects. Really, built by Russian. Wait, really? Sergei Ivanov. He make one step to celebrate every year of his oh. mother's life. That's kind of cool. So she died at 135. No, she died at 100. He was 35. So 135 steps. Impressive. He's smooth with being so able to birth at the age of coming up with stuff. <laughs> Oof. No. Hey, evening, comrade. You're not supposed to be making contact in public. <laughs> I like how he kind of seems almost like a little awkward. You're being followed. I will handle them. You do mean give them your wallet and act scared. <laughs> What's going on? You're being tested. Oh, someone I didn't even think about that. trying to make that. sure that your fiance is really an architect. Yeah, that's true. Not someone who's trained how to fight. Yeah, so don't... KGB agent, for example. Yeah, yeah, yeah so you right. can't you react at all. I think you should do as he says. Which is going to be really hard for him. And remember, take it like a pussy. <laughs> this is not the Russian way. <laughs> it's the Russian architect way. Yeah, but he's got to act kind of like himself, you know, like not be super good, but still. Yeah. He can't be terrible Thank at you. acting. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. Perhaps you give them to me. I think your feet are a little small. Then give me some money for coffee. Oh, be careful. Dearest? I love this soundtrack. Give the gentleman something for coffee. Oh. Enjoy your coffee. Nice watch. Oh, is that like sentimental or might something? Be. Give him the watch. But like, wouldn't he like look at him? Like, even if he wasn't a KGB agent, wouldn't he try to fight back or something like that? Yeah, just like normal. It feels you a little know? weird. Thank you. But I think they're really just trying to go to him and see if he fights back. Give me the watch. Give me the watch. Oh gosh. I don't know if he can handle bro, it. Oh, yeah, he's not like stable, bro. <laughs> this music is really cool. Dang. I did not expect that. Uh-oh. Oh. Yep. Not very good at this whole subtlety thing. <laughs> that man stole my father's watch. Aren't you supposed to be a Russian architect? Yeah, but a Russian architect would fight. Russian yeah, that's what I was thinking. Both, so it's no trouble. Yeah, I mean, maybe. So, I mean, it's like, bro, listen, like, a normal guy's gonna do something. Either you start to look like you know what you're doing, or I'm out of here. I mean, this is a tough, like, they put these two guys together. It's Wait, open. Yeah, oh, this guys. is a really tough combination. Yeah. With the compliments of the hotel, I apologize. It wasn't brought up earlier. It's a fine bottle of champagne. Be ashamed to drink it alone. <laughs> so low. <laughs> oh, I'm still on duty, Mr. Devaney. Pity. But However. However. <laughs> in five minutes. Freaking no, it doesn't. Get out of here. Sure, we can find something to do for five minutes. We are clear, Hunter Hoodie. I'm scared of schools. Ilya is on this one. This can happen. I've been on nine and I'm I'm not going to. Oh, oh, good. Okay, okay. Dude, she's she's almost doing better than they are as far as like like acting, selling stories and stuff. Yeah. There's a party tomorrow to celebrate the fiftieth anniversary of Finch Guara shipping. Uncle Rudy has invited us. Drink? No, thank you. But my man is playing chess against himself. <sighs> Would you like a bigger glass? <laughs> I will finish this bottle. Are you gonna help me or not? No, thank you. This is fun. I'm kind of interested in this character. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, bro, come on. She's got the sunglasses on. This is not a good idea. I'm going to bed. Please turn this off. No fun dancing by yourself. I need a partner. No. No, as. You can dance. Oof. Oh, you don't. My man's gonna pull out the Russian cool. dance moves. I don't know. Yeah, maybe not. He he's hard to get to kind of. Yeah, like crack. I feel like, and also you kind of got a. He has a very different pace. You know what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah, I like how intense he feels. Actually, yeah. Like a, a, a worse movie would would kind of break that character, but he feels like. <laughs> Dig. Don't you make me put you over my knee. So you don't want to dance, but you do want to wrestle. No, I did not say that. <laughs> Dang, bro. Gosh darn it. 
Don't ask any questions. There you go. They're a little loud. <laughs> what the heck is with her, bro? Is she a freaking spy? <laughs> Good night, little chop shop girl. Yeah, not gonna lie, I think you want him over with the wrestling. Just another five minutes? I know you're five minutes, Mr. Devaney. Oh. Who's spying on them? What the heck? Was that him? Was it the other guy? It's possible. They look very similar to the other bug. Yeah. Unless it's just... There's bugs Great. everywhere, bro. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Are Russian men. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. <laughs> These are American men. And very low tech. <laughs> bow tie doesn't work with that soup. I mean, I, I low key, I was thinking that when he walked out of the room. <laughs> he switched it. <laughs> Good morning. I enjoyed last night. It's better for the mission that we get to know each other a little bit more. Well, don't. Intimately. Why are we saying this out? <laughs> what does that mean? It means I like my woman strong. Yeah, that's how it's talented, bro. Come on. Maybe I get you present. <laughs> Bump the brakes, my Russian friend. Wouldn't be wearing my engagement ring. Why not? It's only just been stolen. Your fiance would have gone out first thing in the morning to replace it. Yeah, I mean, that's true. After you, fiance. <laughs> oh, who is that? <laughs> what a legend. He's just walking in like he owns the whole joint. Uh oh, that was the main, uh, that's the main lady. That's the main isn't girl, it? yeah, supposedly who's, who's spearheading this entire thing. <laughs> is he pretending? You're a mutation? Uh, is that what he got? I wonder. Can I leave it in the jack? Could you please come with me, sir? <laughs> you know someone named a capra? Mr. Alitua. Llama le manidos. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> he pulls it yeah. out, bro. What I a legend. With people without imitations. I'm Victoria Glada. <laughs> if you believe in apologies in order, I'll take it from here. Bro, well played. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I'm okay, I think. <sighs> Bro, he's just it's doing this perfectly. Woman, I hardly recognize my favorite niece, Gabby. It's been too long. Sono stata a dieta, mia cara. Sono caviale e champagne. The greatest of. Have you ever had caviar? Caviar is just the fish eggs. Yeah, I mean, we have that all the time. Like, and... oh, that's true. You rear ended a tank. That is when I met the most expensive mechanic in East Germany. <laughs> and did they make you build the ball as well as design it? It's shaped like a power yeah, lift. That's the one. Thing. Yeah, that is true. I like to joke. You're a little light with your fingers. Come and start with this. <laughs> Trust him, isn't it? Oh. Oh. That's how he got the... Wait, so is he is he playing it like he's just a thief? thief? What about my watch? Are we in a rush? Yeah, I don't suppose we are. <laughs> when did this happy accident occur? Two years ago. Two years ago. Uh oh. I feel like we're not. You Uncle Rudy and Bert I, I feel like we're not doing sure well about this, guys. Shame. Why would she be ashamed? Yeah, I'm say ashamed. Dude, I, dude this guy's the worst spy. He may be good KGB, but he's the German worst spy. Never to mix the blood of a race horse with that of a cart horse. That's not a very nice thing to yeah, say. Be so Careful. Mm. I'm sure all Italy's can defend himself. He's he's. He's trying to get to you. Excuse me. Yeah. Just put me lightly. Was he or was he just? He does fear to put in terms. So you're a thief. I hope you're wearing masks. <laughs> Sometimes, just never when I'm stealing things. <laughs> what do you think you can do for me, Mr. Janet? I fill gaps in important collections. One or two special pieces that are impossible to acquire without the. Hmm. So he wants to steal from her. Oh. oh. That's kind of cool, actually. Anything you want, I can do. I can find for you, like for my own daughter. But I fear I can't do it. 
Yeah. Did we think it was going to be that easy? <laughs> Look, he's so tall, dude. Yeah. He's... This is my Gabi. The famous ladies. I need to use the sink. So use the ladies. Uh, okay, bro. Really, dude? Pretty. Uh, wait for me. Nice to that's, see you. That's the guy he stole the... Waverly runs the shipping department at British Oil. Sorry I'm so late, Rudy. I stupidly seem to have lost my invitation. Jack Devaney. Yes, I think we bumped into each other outside. <laughs> oh, oh, dude, he's on to him. Shoot. Well, I notice you're very good with your hands. Oh. Excuse me? I witnessed your trick with a tablecloth. That's brilliant. Were you once a waiter or...? Ah, dang, bro, you're... Oh, I love the shoe. <laughs> Honestly, though, like I said, like, I think he needs to do that. A guy of his size, you know what I'm saying? That's true. Oh, oh shit. Have the jack spent plans? You want to fix it? Bro, she's a mechanic. Yeah, she is. I've been delighted. So I just need the wrench. I like how everybody's kind of like a little bit blowing their cover. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd better give the contest a back her grace. I know I wanna know what my man's up to right here. Why don't you pop into the office tomorrow morning? We can talk more about filling in my gaps. You see each one of us is a destiny. <laughs> and I believe I can help you with yours. <laughs> What the? You can that see the <laughs> what is I can see us having lunch tomorrow. <laughs> Hello. Darling, time to go. Sorry. Darling? I'll give you a minute. Bro, don't be flirting with the race car driver. Living so soon? Ilya isn't feeling very well. But we've had a wonderful time. Be careful. Where's Carol? He's been in there half an hour. We're a little all over the place. Yeah, we're not doing badly, but we're not doing especially well. Apparently, you put someone called Count Lippy in hospital. He had soft bones. And don't question my men. <laughs> I mean, he, he looked like soft. he had soft bones. Your new boyfriend is a Nazi. How did you find Alexander Vigiguel? An athletic, good-looking gazillionaire who suffered me a job and made advances towards me. Oh, that could Still a work. Nazi. But is he up to no good? Is he trying to steal me away from my fiancé? The answer is yes. That's not happening. <laughs> You're not even my fiancé. For the purpose of the mission, I am. So like I said, it's not happening. Why does he have a dark room in the bathroom? This film I'm using has been treated to be sensitive to gamma radiation. They have succeeded in enriching the uranium. Oh no! Oh wow! I'm gonna go sleep on this. Sure you are, bro. Dang, bro. My man is still better dressed than I am ever in my life going on a mission. Oh, uh, if they found out some sort of special way to enrich the uranium. <laughs> We gotta work together, guys. Come We're on. really like... Is this what you call sleeping on it? I suppose you're responsible for the lights. You're welcome. Not obvious, but... The thing is, I work better alone. I work better alone, too. What if we work better alone together? I'm not leaving. We have approximately 10 minutes before the power comes back on. You want to sit around and talk about it? Or okay, I'll let you tag along. <laughs> no mess, so nobody knows we've been here. And we both forget about in the morning. Okay. <laughs> what is that? Super hardened boron sharpened with a CO2 laser. Dang. I just uh, <laughs> have a laser. <laughs> CO2 laser. <laughs> Coming? <laughs> Dang, bro. Hooray. You know, what's worse is having two people. It's risky. Be quiet. Just let me do it. Go, 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 go. Close it, close it. Oh my Whoa, gosh. That was the, super the quick. Jedi speed. Yeah, good thing he locked it. I yeah, like seeing their different Carol. skill sets. Yeah. Like, he he is kind of, like, crazy super strong, but at the same time, Henry Cavill's a thief. Yeah, but also, you know, like, it's showing off the cool. technology of the different countries, you know, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, lost. We gotta figure out, like, how they're enriching the plutonium, or the, sorry, I, the uranium, because that's probably what the issue is, right? Yeah. I really like this. Like, it's interesting. Didn't find anything. Uh-oh. Lui è troppo grasso per indossare le scarpette da calcio. Dover fare il Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh my gosh. Adesso vado a controllare il laboratorio. Wait, shoot, bro. It's got he's got the watch. Wait. Oh man. What the <laughs> Why? Talk about <laughs> Russian watch. tech. I thought that was my father's watch. Oh, oh, was it? Make mistakes. Oh no. It'll be like this for 20 minutes. Can't touch. Yeah, but what do you mean can't touch? You just screwed us then. We can't hide him? Why do you think they have radiation tools and suits in a satellite factory? <gasps> Next to hidden button. Ooh. 
secret. Oh yeah. We wouldn't have found that without my father's watch. True. I mean, that is very I'm true. true. <laughs> I don't know if you could call it a uh, lucky or what, but why never go? Would be my guess. <laughs> you know, what's our What's our technology here? What are we gonna do? I like how we're just learning each other's specialties. And these? Yeah. Open these. Okay. Okay, bro. Vortbinder Landsman 7010 model. The earlier models had a design flaw. See flaw? I intend to exploit. This is cool. This is what I liked about like the Mission Impossible stuff. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like the whole like gadgets. I like this. I like this though, and, and whether it's actually real or not, I like that they're making it feel more Yeah, cool. yeah, I don't know, it's just super cool. This feels way cooler. Like, look at this, this yeah. is sick. <laughs> Dang. And the flaw was, people who designed this model are not very good at stealing things. <laughs> I, however, am. Oh, with the camera attached to the door? Mm. That's sick. <laughs> Should deactivate alarm. Model 7010 doesn't have an alarm. What? But, oh. oh. Loving your work, cowboy. <laughs> Great, bro. Quick! Wait, what are we gonna do here? I have no freaking grab idea. Grab whatever they have in here? I don't There's know. There's nothing in there. Just grab whatever. Oh, Shoot! Gosh. These people are messing around. <laughs> That's cool. That was cool. Dang, they're such crazy shots. But I like how they kind of establish that. Mm -hmm. Does this mean anything to you? It's part of centrifuge. I'm not staying here. Where are you gonna go? Swimming. Oh, that was cool. Dang. The no! Oh, that hurt me. <laughs> Ow. <laughs> That's so. That's. I, I love her. I voice. like this. I really started to like the, this. The humor is actually not very Guy Ritchie. It's it's like a little bit different. It's very off, uh, like offbeat humor. It's. I, I started to really like this. Oh gosh, watch out! Dang, bro, that looks real. It does you can look tell. Real. Yeah. Can we at least make it there? Oh, shoot. What? Oh, did he do that on purpose? He just fell off. Maybe this is better, though. Yeah, maybe. No, he did not do that on purpose. <laughs> He's still trying to trash talk him. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> there's nobody on the boat. GTA, when you forget to put your seatbelt on. <laughs> This actually kind of works though, because he's acting as a decoy. Oh yeah. <laughs> the most accurate radio moment in a movie ever. <laughs> Is there like a picnic? <laughs> oh god. Dang, bro. I really like this character. He's a very different character, even for like Henry Cavill. He is. You know what I mean? Like, it's just a very against type character, and it's a very unique movie character. And spies in general, you know? Yeah, I like, like he's like such a cocky bastard. I love it. <laughs> oh, God. Holy. You should go help. Him. Come on. No. <laughs> he's still got the napkin on. Come on, bro. Wh what Whoa! the? <laughs> Dang, that looks all real. It does. <laughs> That's a really cool character moment. Yeah. I like that a lot. Is she calling him? Uh, Mr. Devon is room. <sighs> Oh no! Well, because this thing, doesn't it kind of give us away with the whole like stealing thing that he Maybe. already set up? You know what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. That, that, look, they're not always the smartest. Shoot, she knows this stuff already. Yeah. That's what I like though. It's like these guys have like flaws, like a lot of flaws. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? What about? Hello. Ich habe es nicht zu spät. Ich habe nicht. 
Ja, this might be our way in. Which is gonna be hilarious if the two spies can't do Jack and she does. Ich left. Gabi, ich habe mir überlegt, ob ich dich morgen nicht zum Essen ausführen kann. Nur wir beide. Es gibt da einige Dinge, die ich mit dir besprechen möchte. Ich hole dich morgen ab. Um 12. Is he suspicious at all of him? It's done. Yeah, I think they know. Yeah, they do know now that... Oh, shoot. Room 304, please. The meeting is confirmed. We're screwed. Uh, wait. Who did she call? Is she a double agent? Right? Yeah, because she didn't call them. No. Right? Wait, are you serious? I mean, that explains a lot, actually. That explains why she's so good. Yeah, like the car thing, right, earlier. Even, like, the fighting skills and stuff like that. But for who? Sorry, Mrs. Pichuera, there's no answer. Go, go, go. Yeah, maybe you can just pretend he's asleep. It's going to be really sus. I don't know, bro. Yeah, because they might just assume that they already got back in time or something. You know what I'm saying? I feel like they just got a dip. Are they just going to try to shoot out? Go, go, go. <laughs> I love that. Hello, Victoria. <laughs> like, how did you get in here? Great. You bugged him? Tried to bug me. Oh. Okay, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean. It doesn't sound like he needs your help. Sure, Victoria believes you. I don't... Uh... I gave it everything I had. I also got another meeting with her later today. So I, don't, just, I think she might have, movie? actually. Well, I don't know. I, I feel like you gotta be careful of her. She's... You remember, she's like yeah, kind of smart. Going soft, Peril? What you talking about? Well, we can't trust her, bro. Now, who's she working for? Yeah, I don't know, right? Your tracker is not sending a signal. Can you turn it on? I think so. Nah, bro. Oh, do you want to check it? Be my guest. It's your tracker. You're the <laughs> bro, he freaking knows. I'll be on the balcony. Oh, I'm still cold. You're trembling. That's because I'm scared. It's going to be okay. Is she scared? Or is she, or is she scared of them? Be, or is she just acting, you know? I'll be close by. I'll turn it on now. Uncle Rudy's car has arrived. Are you ready? Oh, bro, we're getting played. Because she's not working directly with them, right? Yeah. The enemy, because... No, no. Oh, she's not. So... I really like the way this is shown. This is really cool yeah. filmmaking. Great, By an bro. unknown man. Uh oh, oh my gosh. Dude, he screwed so up. You can't be doing that. Watch the Russians and Americans just hired her to like actually get the job <laughs> yeah, done. Yeah, they're like, <laughs> our agents are a little bit too statistical. <laughs> Thank you. I think the Germans could have done it. Who knows? She could be working for Germany, right? Like not the Nazi, you know, like under like whatever. West Berlin. Or, well. All right, what's going on here? Look at this house, bro. So your Uncle Rudy thinks we should have a little chat. Uh-oh. I know my father is here and that he works for you. And how's that? Simple. What? What? Why aren't you telling us? I think I need to make a telephone call. Your father's work ethic has been lacking. Your presence will provide the necessary motivation. You leave my father to me. Wait, what if she is a Nazi? I'm the daughter of Eden Urban. Madame Vinci Guerra will be with you shortly. She would like it if you make yourself comfortable. Thank you. Yeah, why did he, she then make a secret like phone call? You know what I'm saying? Why wouldn't she just... Help yourself to a train. Maybe she doesn't work with them, but she is a Nazi sympathizer. Dang, bro. That is a tall drink. Oh. Yeah, dude, she is. She's working with them. Or, or at least a sympathizer. You don't look like you slept much. Well, you should say that, Madame Bajiguera. I don't think this scotch is helping either. <laughs> yeah. I laced all the drinks. I don't like to leave much to chance, Mr. Solo. Oof. I thought I was doing so well. You were doing fantastically well. The fault doesn't lie in your performance. Well, it kind of does. You couldn't control the loyalty of young Gabby. She gave you up like an unwanted kitten. I know my father is here and that he works for you. <gasps> How's that? Simple. My fiance is a KGB agent, and the American your wife has been entertaining is with the CIA. Ooh. The Russians and the Americans thought they were using me, but That's I was using them said. to get to you. Was she? It's a tracking device. He's probably out there in the woods watching us. 
<laughs> I'm sure my fiance can confirm everything I've said if you can catch him. I think I need to make a telephone call. Is there any way that that she's playing them somehow? If she's, oh, I feel like it is. I've been here before. And last time I fell rather badly and hurt my head. Cause I still don't understand what the phone call would be for, you know? Sleep well. Yeah. Only my mother calls me to Poland. Oops. Mommy says hello. That was cool. The dark angel, the butcher of Belsen, the fifth horseman. Today you have the privilege of experiencing his work firsthand. Hello again, Mr. Sulla. Oh. Ooh. We have contact. Jeez. Oh, I send your cards to little Gabby. Mm. Look, at least at least for him, the American government doesn't really care about him. And I would assume the KGB yeah. is not very caring about their people either. Well, but I would think that they would care about the overall mission. Like, we need to. Yeah, but you know. what if she is their, like, extra person or something? You know what I mean? Their contingency plan. I mean, that's possible, yeah. Or she could just be hey. working solo. Once upon a time, hey, there was a hypnosis little boy. stuff. You wouldn't describe him as a particularly special little boy. Why is he trying to hypnotize him? He was bullied mercilessly and relentlessly by the other children. He emerged with miserable year. This is him. Pain and fear. He had quite a talent for eliciting these feelings. History gave him an unprecedented opportunity. A world war. Huh. The time to advance your... Dang, this is really cool. Technique. The way they're showing this cinematically, though. Yeah. And, like, colorizing all the black and white Damn footage. It. That doesn't really work. Mr. Solo, on which he would produce his greatest work. Gosh, man. Was the Butcher of Belson and, like, those others one person? Or is that this movie just having... I'm curious. People tell us in the comments. A whole page just for you. And not in black and white. Like the others, no. Kodogram. The colors are so real, you can almost taste them. Ready? Dang. Dang. Come on, dude. If this is not a big a big brain play, I'm going to be so mad. It could just be her, you know, trying to do stuff. You know what I'm saying? Who knows? I mean, I don't see how we're going to get out of this if it's not. There are two kinds of torture, Mr. Solo. We need the oh. Russian, right? One is for the Peril. extraction of information. That's true. The other is for its own sake. This does get frustrating. Dang, bro, he's coming back after we saved his life. I'm on an old fashioned mode. I think we'll start <laughs> with the pliers. I never thought I'd say this. I'm actually quite pleased to see you. <laughs> you doing okay, Cowboy? <laughs> I thought I found all your trackers. You nope. did. You missed you one. The ones in your shoes. Hey, that's good. Ooh. Do you mind? You don't have to do things for me to make me talk. I'll tell you everything. You know. <laughs> of course he does. What about the gig? She betrayed you. I will testify. <laughs> don't kid yourself. She fooled me too. It's not the same. They have a glitch. Then I'll fix it. <laughs> do you still have Talon? Yes. That's already a bomb. And oh my! Quiet. Whoa! The Rice Marshal will take delivery tomorrow morning at eight o'clock. What the heck? The submarine. Whoa! You guys are Together screwed. Island, I'll inform on anyone. I'm your command. You give us a minute. Don't go anywhere. <laughs> I love this duo, bro. What do you think we should do? We have to get to that island. What should we do about him? I could kill him. Ah! Oh no! Uh, oh no! On the one hand, we need it. He's a world of information. Well, not anymore. But on the other hand, I know exactly what'll happen. Strike a deal and struggle out of it. <laughs> From the smoke. So what do you think we should do? Just give me a minute. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, what's the smell? <laughs> <laughs> I love these guys. She fixed the glitch. Damn. I left my jacket in there. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Time to kick some butt. Is that her dad? I think so. I'll let you two get reacquainted. Yeah, maybe she's just going to save her dad, man. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I keep forgetting that it's her dad there. I know it's silly, but. Thank you. Dad got their attention. They'll have chopper waiting for us at the This doesn't place. explain her skill set, though. No. Gabby, I have a very strange Ooh. Oh, nice. Meet again. Follow me. 
Is that a French helicopter? You will report to Commander Ravely, the British Naval Intelligence, for the remainder of the mission. Dang. You retrieve Dr. Teller and the computer disk. They are the key to the U.S. of A winning the arms race. Kill the Russian. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, th this is where the selfish motives come back. Because well, it's like they're both trying to. Yeah, because at, at a certain point, they want the bomb, not. Seize the item, secure the warhead, and winkle out poor Professor Patella. There is also, of course, the uh, small matter of retrieving my age. <gasps> you have British agent on this? It's, it's her. She's not British. She, yeah, British. I should have freaking what? thought about the British. The Gabby's working for you, isn't she? Uh, well, well done, Sarah. Yeah. <laughs> Dang it! I, I don't know why, because I was trying to think That's of like the, the powers, and I was like, we well, couldn't be China at the time, right? Like, I don't think so anyway. But duh, Britain. Gabby has agreed to assist me to assure I finish in time. Now that is a good idea. You're wrong. When Professor Teller disappeared, we assumed that his Nazi colleagues would come knocking at his daughter's door. Ah. And I've been meaning to thank you very much for nearly fouling up two years of my work. <laughs> You're wrong. I saw her betray us at Vinci Guerra. But I told it. The meeting is confirmed. I think you know what you have to do, Miss Teller. Okay, yeah, so that's what Oof. the call was about. It was the only way she could stay in the game. She knew that the ring that's true. was bugged and that you'd be listening to every word she said. That would give even the average Russian agent plenty of time to escape. To run, yeah. You told Gabby to drop us in it so you could find her father first, but now you've lost her, so you need us to help find her. <laughs> Wait, I'm not sure. Yes, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think it's rather nice. <laughs> We're all very fond of Gabby, and now we have a chance to, to save her. Of course, you get the, the British charm. What is... That. Uh, it's an aircraft carrier. So what does that do? Well, it's known as a coupler. It sends a signal which enables another missile to lock onto this one for double the impact. What the? Now that we are converting it to nuclear, it's redundant. Oh. I'm sorry. Don't be oh, too what obvious. What is he doing? He's putting in something Messing else. Messing it up. Yeah. Got the wrong one. We nearly done, Victoria. Those are the words we've been waiting to hear. Uh, Whoa. Uh, Put her in a cell. You don't have me in 20 minutes. Kill her. Yeah, I mean. That's how long you have to finish this. You can start by putting back the correct lens. Dang it! Dang it. She's good. Yeah. Stop me if I get this wrong, Jocelyn. A stealth attack on the island from sea. Are they ready for us? I'm worried now. The enemy has been so... Well, they are ready for us, right? Because they they know they that said, they're like, coming. They said, like, an army's coming. Yeah. yeah, but I'm hoping maybe if we go in, like, stealth... It's done. And with three minutes to spare. A computer disc with your research on it. Where is it? Just destroy that disc. And the backup. Dang it. She's good, bro. What about Gabby? She'll be joining you shortly. Oh no. Oh, dang. I mean, smart villain. Ooh. <laughs> That's a really cool shot. No, oh, that's cool. I mean, it's like, uh, it's very, it kind of feels like comic booky, like that it, part. It, I think it's, I think it's a reference to like 1960s television shows and stuff gotcha. like that. This is so cool, dude. They're, they're, they're getting through a lot in they a are. short amount of time. Like this is a cool way to kind of like speed things up. At the same time, I want to see some of this. Yeah, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're turning through people. Hmm. We are. Feels a little easy. Yeah, this does feel too easy. Are they setting off the new kit? No. No. Or no. did they dip? Maybe in a submarine. Right? Did they are they already gone? Looks like we found Dr. Teller. The bomb was here. Oh! It's the watch. <laughs> oh. Did she leave that on purpose? I think maybe. Oh, they might have took her or something like that. Right? Oh, oh, they're yeah. still on site. Alexander has Gabby in the bomb. They're at the entrance. Yeah, they're using her. Shoot, get another car. Go, go, go. Oh, Whoa. Wait. Time to go, baby. Dune buggy. Oh, come on. <laughs> That's so sick. Finally, we have the bigger vehicle. That was so cool. Do we even need to use the roads? I don't Screw think. Screw it. Yeah. Yeah, let's Bro, go, baby. Freaking climber. I love that, this like camera zooming effect they're doing. Go cut them off. Come on. Oh. Yeah, just screw it. Yeah. We yeah, got yeah, this. Yeah, nice, nice, nice. Dang. That's still a hard drive though. Come We're on, bro. Come on. 
Oh, we're right behind him. Oh, we caught up. They can't. What? This has got to be kind of deep. Yeah. What are you doing? What the heck is this guy doing? Isn't the car? That there's got to be something else to this. Oh, no, bro. Is shoot. this a freaking underwater car or something? It has like an intake at the top or something. Dang, bro. Oh! <laughs> That's real, dude. That's <laughs> insane. Attaboy. Did you just hydroplane out? I think so. Over part of that? <laughs> Dang. Can you get him? Okay. Oh, okay. nice. Oh, oh. oh. One of his tires are out. Dang, you better really hold on. Oh, shoot. Oh, Watch out, dude. Great, dude. Come on, dude. Freaking so low. Whoa. Whoa. Uh oh. Oh, no. Okay. Watch out the gun, right? Day. That's a beautiful shot. Wait, 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 wait. Is the bomb still in the back? I think so. Okay. I'll be okay, Carol. But we got another copy of the disc, right? Yeah. It's okay. Okay, we got the bomb. Did Hold we on, both chaps. get a copy? You know what I'm Just one small snag. Wrong warhead. Oh, no. Where did she go? I, I was gonna say that felt too different yeah. for like a finale. No, 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 it's a real bomb, quite a nasty one too, but uh, not nuclearized. There's no uranium in it. Oh, it's just a bomb! Frick! There was a second warhead in the lab. No other vehicles have left this island since last night. That includes submarines. It's still on the. What about fishing boats leaving the mainland? How many of them are there? Almost a hundred. Oh my goodness! We built Vinci Gary, one of the biggest shipping companies in the world. Submarine service is at 800 hours. Diodema? I saw it. Yeah, Diodema. Diodema. That's Sergio Ventiguera's old fishing boat. I suggest we start there. Holy. Dang. Can you get them on the radio? I have an idea which might make things quicker. Comandante qui Diodema, messaggio per la signora Vinciguerra. Non so di che cosa state parlando. Bro, get out of here. Diodema, this is Napoleon Solo. Hello, Victoria. Earlier today, I killed your husband. <laughs> We're wasting our time. This isn't working. We need an if option. Just shut up. Thank you very much, Captain. <laughs> I'd like to report that he died honorably. Instead, it was a rather pitiful affair. Office to trade anything and indeed anyone so that I would spare his life. <laughs> Any blood relation of yours still living will be dead within a year. Won't you have to inform your organization? After we deliver the warhead, you so desperately thought it would be the first item on my agenda. <laughs> we have the professor's disc. We can build as many bombs as we need. Proceed, please, Captain. I see one flaw in that plan. Did we just? <laughs> Are we just gonna blow them up? Now we have your general location. It won't help you much. We'll be gone in five minutes. No, uh, that's enough time for uh, the missile. Coupling device that you so considerately <laughs> left us on your decoy warhead. Oh, can you just launch ten feet? There. Sends a signal which enables another missile to lock onto this one for double the impact. We just sent their missile at them. <laughs> or their bomb. Warhead launched forty-five seconds ago. <laughs> giving you about 30 seconds until impact. It won't trigger the nuclear warhead as that requires fishing. <laughs> They're, They're freaking dipping. I suggest you abandon ship immediately. How's that for entertainment? Dang! Very good. Just well done, sir. Wrecked. Right. I kind of like that it didn't set off the nuclear bomb. The bellboy is on his way. Yeah, like finally someone yeah, like yeah, actually, actually like... accurate. I'm sorry, I really wanted to tell you, but it's okay. I would have done exactly the same yeah, thing. In your he's position. like, I respect you even more now. I'm sorry about your father. I lost him a long time ago. Cowboys invited us for a drink up in his room if you'd like. I have to see Waverly. Mm. Mm. In case we don't see each other again. Mm. No. Yeah. You should keep it. Yeah. A souvenir. That way I can keep track of you. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> I knew it. You just let them have a kiss for once? Hello. Attention to Pujasta. This is Leader 
профессора Теллера. О, он затонул за Виктор Ильич Гуэль Карбо. Тогда почему мне дало, что он американца? Всем миром заверши свою миссию, если не хочешь быть посланным в Сибирь. О, гаш. Я надеюсь твоей преданности. Действуй. Is he? Oh, that was so cool. Back to how things were. Oh. Politics being what they are. You feeling okay? Ah, just fine. What now? Mission accomplished? Head back to Russia? Something like this, yes. You, New York? Ugh. Almost forgot. Oh, the watch. <sighs> Dang, dude, we gonna kill him now? You know what my mission is? Same as mine was. Kill me if necessary. To get that. <laughs> Effort. Well played. <sighs> Absolutely hated working with you, Peril. You're a terrible spy, cowboy. <laughs> Good evening, gentlemen. Glass of whiskey and a little bonfire to keep you warm. <laughs> yep, we destroyed it. <laughs> Rather a good idea. Fresh little unpleasantness has arisen. But I've um, spoken to your superiors, and now that we're all such good friends, they've kindly agreed to let me keep the team together for a while. Dang, bro, um, why is there not a sequel? We leave in an hour. Where are we going? Istanbul, Kiryakin. Oh, and you have a new code name. Uncle. <laughs> what a great shot. Don't talk. <laughs> That's sick. <laughs> What do you think? That was good. That was really fun. Yeah. It, what a fun very, movie. I'd, I'd say very unique for like a, a spy type of like, how should I say? Like this genre, you know, honestly, just very unique for a movie. Yeah. Uh, like I've seen spy stuff like this, but it did such a good job of sort of like, like I've never seen the show this is based off. But I kind of get what it was, if that makes any sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I have a feel for what it was. And at least I feel, and I don't know, but I feel like this did such a good job of kind of like modernizing that without going even even as far as something like James Bond goes. You know what I mean? Of mm -hmm. like, oh, this is kind of a modern take on it. It 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 was almost just a retelling of it with a little bit more technology and a little bit more of a, a kind of like modern filmmaking. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's interesting to me because um, for me, like spy stuff, you know, like I only have what James Bond stuff and then like Mission Impossible stuff. Sure. Right. But like those two feel very similar in a way. Yeah. Even though they're different. Right. Yeah. They they feel similar as far as like in the spy genre. Right. Uh -huh. But they I think they did a very good job at making it feel like it subverted certain things. Like I was expecting like this to happen. And then it was like, no, that wasn't part of the plan or like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, where these guys are a lot more human feeling. Mm. I don't know the way that they do it, even though like, I, I, um, it's the very other... character based. This is a very character based movie. Yeah. It's like the other movies have shown flaws in characters and things like that. But like the small things that they show in here, like, Oh, he just, you know, forgot that or didn't realize that there was still, you know, 10 feet of ground left before he yeah, got yeah, to the, yeah, the that's harbor, hilarious, you know? Bro. It's like, that's hilarious. It feels very like, oh, that's very, that's a very human mistake. You know, it wasn't some big thing. It was just like a spur of the moment. Like, yeah. oh, this seems like a good idea. It actually wasn't, you know? And I feel like they did it a few times where it makes it feel like, I don't know, you could really feel the humanity of both yeah. these guys, you know? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, I, I, I really like the humor. I think their dynamic, especially uh, uh, the two guys, is just great. Mm -hmm. The actors are just great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, just all of that was so perfect. And the kind of, like, quippy... Uh, I don't even know what you would call this dynamic. Like, good cop, bad. Like, you kind of see it like, lethal weapon or something like that. Like, this kind of, like, oh, you know, two guys who don't really super get along finding a way to get along. Yeah. Uh, and it's charming. Especially, it is. And, and, and when done well, which this movie does it very well, it's very charming. Yeah, it kind of feels like that, you know, you're playing like basketball or something like that. And you're always like, there's always this other rifle that's like really yeah. hard to beat, you know, and you're always like, you know, trying to get at them. 
And then like you had to play on the all star team together. Yeah. <laughs> <kinda> <laughs> You're like, oh, geez. All right. It's like, all right, sweet. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It kind of has that feel. No, I, I, it was very interesting. I, I think it's cool too because I, especially since we watched a lot more of Guy Ritchie's movie, I, and I can't remember. So people correct me in the comments. I want to say he generally writes and directs on his own. Okay. I feel like this movie definitely felt different because he didn't write this on his own, which was interesting. Oh, okay, interesting. Um, I think it's kind of an interesting kind of combo because uh, I, I, it didn't have as many of kind of like the the Guy Ritchie-isms as it does. Like, I don't know. He has, his dialogue has such a signature feel to it. I thought it was interesting that this movie didn't have that feel. And I don't hate that either. Like I said, it, it kind of had like this almost like awkward humor to it and stuff like that mm-hmm. that I didn't really expect. It was really, really cool. Yeah, yeah, On yeah. top of the kind of classic like signature Guy Ritchie, like, oh, dope costumes, just cool to be cool. Yeah, Great yeah, yeah. characters, female and male. You know what I mean? Like, it's just that. Uh, yeah, it was cool. Yeah, no, no, it was. I also like uh weirdly they they had a good even though there were some over the top things like for example like when he's eating in the in the car <laughs> and hilarious. stuff like that it's hilarious and, um it, there had there was a lot of moments where actually this movie felt very like real you know like realistic in a way yeah like um when that car like kind of like flipped over it wasn't like this massive like crash you know what i'm saying where a lot of times you're like okay but realistically you're flying out that window you know yeah. whereas like she kind of braced herself and they like rolled with the roll cage and she was, and was chained like, yeah and so it was like, like oh okay that's fine you know yeah and then yeah. stuff like you know with the bomb and all that like there's a um, several moments where it's like, oh you know this is it feels very real you know and i like yeah. that i like that they they kept it fairly grounded as far as like you know a spy movie like spy movies i feel like well i don't know i don't know i haven't watched a ton of spy stuff but just from what we've seen they're like gadgets and stuff like while it's cool it is a little less like realistic feeling whereas yeah, they agree. they had it very um i don't know they had a, a good vibe going there yeah yeah so i mean let us know in the comments down below what else you guys want us to watch um as always flood thrash is going to be up with the patreon the next week's reaction to this movie here is going to be up for early access if you guys want to go ahead and check that out and yeah thank you just for being here thank you for joining us for watching if you guys are new here welcome hopefully you stick around and if you do we will see you all in the next video